40 years ago, a Soviet research vessel hauled on board a massive squid heavier than any found before. Its body weighed twice as much as that of a giant squid thought to be the largest in the world. No further specimens were found until the beginning of the 21st century, when fishing vessels pulled up three more giants from Antarctic waters. One of these is now on display at the Museum of New Zealand in Wellington. It's been aptly named Colossal Squid. Measuring nearly five meters in length and weighing half a ton, it's the heaviest squid ever found anywhere. And there have been other discoveries of supersized creatures. In 2000, the largest specimen ever found of a squid called Condacovia was washed ashore. It was over two meters long. Both Condacovia and the colossal squid are powerful predators. They're equipped with very similar weapons. Their tentacles not only have suckers, but sharp hooked claws. And those of the colossal squid can even swivel around. It's one of the most dangerous hunters in the Antarctic seas. One of their prey is the largest fish to be found in these waters, the Antarctic toothfish. The circular marks on its body were clearly made by the suckers of a very large squid. While dead specimens of these enormous squid have been recovered, very few have ever been seen alive. So a camera is entrusted to an Antarctic fishing vessel in the hope that they might encounter a large squid. And one day, they're in luck. A stocky body with a large eye, there's no mistaking it, it's a colossal squid. And its strong tentacles have those distinctive hooked claws. The squid had held on to its prey while the fisherman's line pulled up a fish. Now it retreats back into the ocean. The expedition's most ambitious goal is to find huge Antarctic squid. And they hope to do so with the help of a toothfish. Dr. Catherine Bolstad is an expert on deep ocean squid and one of the few scientists to have studied the anatomy of the colossal squid. Her plan is to use the toothfish as bait to attract the elusive predator. It's one of the last giant animals on the planet that we really have no knowledge of and that nobody has seen alive. So we have a chance here to see an animal nobody has seen at large sizes alive before where it belongs and that has no idea that humans even exist. OK, yep. Sam, that, that looks, looks good. good. We're happy with that. Yep. OK, I like that. With the bait in position, they take the submersible down into deeper water. Control, control, Nadia. My depth, four, five, zero meters. Descending, over. So that's an octopus? I see yeah. eyes. Yeah. Floating into view comes a reddish, umbrella-shaped octopus that's only found in the Antarctic Ocean. It's called the Dumbo octopus 
because its prominent fins resemble the ears of Disney's flying elephant. The octopus's arms are connected by a web of skin that allows it to glide through the water with all the grace of a ballet dancer. The submersible has now reached a depth of 500 meters. This is where they're hoping to find their colossal squid. Oh, oh what? Oh, that was that's the Studio Medusa. Cat has spotted something else in the darkness. of a giant jellyfish, easily 10 meters long. They hang from a bell-shaped body. This is Stygiomedusa gigantea thought to be one of the largest invertebrate predators in the deep sea. Drifting alongside the submersible, it's clear just how big it really is. Few people have ever seen this spectacular creature alive, so we know very little about it. The broad, ribbon-like arms don't have stings, and no one knows just how they're used to catch prey. It could be that the long, streaming drapes simply entangle or wrap around their victims. It's a great thrill to have had such an intimate encounter with one of the Antarctic's most elusive giants. world. It's full of stranger things than most people can imagine. Down there, the truth really is stranger than fiction. 